family history was big with the Garcia clan. My dad always told stories about his grandfather who grew up in the heart of Puerto Rico, the Bronx. And my mom, she had great tales about her grandmother in New Mexico where the sunsets are red and the tortillas are blue. And the Garcia kids, well, we were always busy weaving stories of our own. So when my teacher, Miss Azteca, asked us to document a day in the life at Casa Garcia, I felt like I was handed the storytelling torch. Now, the problem was how to tell the real Garcia saga without burning down the house. Luckily, my dad had the answer. I think I smell an A-plus in the making. You are so lucky, Larry. I think the word is spoiled. If you want, I'll teach you how to edit it later on. Thanks. Just a couple rules. Well, only one. Break it, and you find yourself another place to live. Ray? <laughs> I was just kidding, mi amor. I was just kidding. Half kidding, son, half kidding. I promise a million times I'll take good care of it. Maybe you should leave some kind of deposit or something. What are you supposed to do with it, anyway? Well, I'm gonna make a video of a day in the life of the Garcia family. Me first! No! Me! Me! Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Isn't it? Here's a release form. Release form? We, the undersigned parents of Larry Garcia, hereby hold San Antonio Middle School free from all liability resulting from the disclosures of family secrets in connection with the project a day in the life. Loosely translated, Dad, Larry's gonna dig up dirt. Ooh, this is gonna be good. One at a time. There's only so much of me to go around. <laughs> Shh, be quiet or he'll wake up. <sighs> you may each write your phone number right here in my enormous bicep. This is better than the cooking channel. Or my novellas. <laughs> That's right, ladies. I'm your gladiator. <laughs> what are you doing here? My homework assignment. Smile. <laughs> are they teaching you how to invade privacy? You were funny, Carlos. <laughs> and Larry's got it all on tape. Got all what on tape? You know, big brother, you're a smooth talker. <laughs> Even in your sleep. Girls, please, one at a time. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Cool? How do you erase this? You can't. It's my homework. If Nicole or Samantha see this, I'm finished. I think that's the idea. Right, Larry? No. The idea is to capture my familia exactly the way it is. Why do I smell a disaster movie in the making? Hey, I wonder if Dad's up. Oh, you move his biceps. <laughs> <sighs> ah! Black, stupid, bad enough. Idiot who invented the hairy armpits of his stupid mother. Ah! Larry, did you hear what, what I just said? Every word of it. My class is going to think I'm a genius director. Oh. Ray, I told you that one of these days the kids were going to overhear one of your, shall we say, colorful epithets. You are busted, Neil. Uh, um. <laughs> it was like aliens had taken my mom up to the mothership and spliced in genes from June Cleaver and Mrs. Brady. So, do you enjoy being a mom, Mrs. Garcia? Well, I... 
Yes, because motherhood is about love, and there's no greater love than love of family. For my family, I would walk across hot coals, barefoot, with R2-D2 strapped to my back and Sandy still sitting in it. Hey, Mom, what you cooking? Oatmeal, mijo. Oatmeal. Just the way my boy likes it. Well, cancel that, Mom. What I really want is some mango pancakes with some papaya juice on the side. Mm. Mm. What's for breakfast, Mommy? Mango pancakes and oatmeal. Take your pick, Princess. Can I have my eggs scrambled instead? Uh-oh. Now what are you going to do, Mom? One of the things a mom has to deal with in the course of her busy day is conflict resolution. But if you just... Take a deep breath. There's no reason why everybody can't get a little bit of what they want. Oatmeal, boring, mango pancakes. Been there, done that. Eggs, I don't think so. Uh, Carlos, I wouldn't. Hey, Mom, how about some of that awesome French toast? I'll be up in my room practicing on my drums. Just holler when it's done. That's it! I'm not a waitress. This is not a five-star hotel, and you children are definitely not the royal family. Good mom, that is so real. I mean, well, of course you are like royalty to me, <laughs> but a mother does have her limits. What's that smell? In retrospect, maybe we should have gone out for breakfast that day. Busted. <laughs> That's perfect. Hold that pose. Oh, no, you don't, Larry. Forget it, bro. No. Hey, guys, wait up. Sure, Samantha. I'll be there Saturday at noon. Samantha, I gotta go. I'll see you at school. Carlos, would you tell the camera what it's like being a Latin hottie? Would you mind telling the camera and its operator to go away? Would this discourage George Lucas, Gregory Nava? I don't think so. Larry, yo, Larry. for some tunes. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like that song too. In our house, six people. Private time, good luck. I don't know what George was thinking that day, but he should have known little brother was watching. This is great. Academy Award winning great. Prayers, Larry. Ah. I don't. Must you leave me? I'm sorry, Rosa Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes, but I'm in love with Loren. I will have my father, Don Diablo, promote you. But Lorena will help me pick the lettuce crops, even if it means being covered with dangerous pesticides. I can't stand the thought of never sharing a salad with you again, Raul. That's the breaks. Rosa Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes, you and your father may be able to plow under your crops, but you can never plow under my love for Lorena de los Besos Buenos y Ricos. Then stand back while I cry. <laughs> A 
Are you all right? Oh, sure, I'm fine. 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 So, uh, what do you say, Mr. Uh, Ensemble, Frank Sinatra look alike? Uh, do we have a date or not? Oh, sure. Saturday noon. There's no place in the world I'd rather be than hanging with you. Larry. He is so cute. He is not so cute. He's a nightmare. I've got some editing to do. Mom, Dad, can we come in? Sure, Miho, what's wrong? We need to have a family meeting. George, let in. Any chances. The walls have ears. And eyes, too. This is about Larry, isn't it? How did you know? Lucky guess. He's gone too far. Way. Way, way too far. All right, all right, before we get started, Larry, are you in this room? Okay, family meeting is officially in session. Who wants to go first? Mm, okay, well, let's try to do this with as much fairness as possible, seeing as how Larry isn't even here to defend himself. You're right, mi amor. Carlos, why don't you go first? Okay. Larry followed me outside to the patio where I was meeting Nicole, right? He hides behind the bushes and records my conversation. What's wrong with that? Well, he recorded me telling Nicole that I'd meet her on Saturday at noon after he already recorded me telling Samantha I'd meet her on Saturday at noon. Mm, well, I see. That is a problem. No, no, Mom, it's not what you think. I mean, you know, I'm a free spirit. I can't be tied down to one female. Oh, I see. No, I think that we should talk about this later, son. And George, why are you angry with Larry? Well, after school, I kind of went surfing on the net when there was some homework that I probably could have gotten done. <laughs> probably? Okay, should have. George, honey, you know the internet is off limits until you finish your homework. Sorry. We're going to have to chat about this later on, and not online. Busted. <laughs> y Lorena. Yes, papi? What's your beef with Larry? Um, nothing much. Then why did you tell me that Larry invaded your privacy when you were playing with your dolls? What kind of playing? Um, I'm already like Chuga. Go on. Well, Raul, the campesino, decided to tell Rosa Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes that he was leaving her for another woman. Hmm. Anyone we know? Um, me. <laughs> We're going to have to start cutting back on your novella viewing time, young lady. Again? Oh, not fair. Okay. I think I see the problem here. Larry's candid camera caught each of us doing things we're embarrassed about. Am I right? Yeah. 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 So, what do we do now? Good question. Everything is perfect. Why don't you call your brothers in for dinner? Yo, guys! Get your grub before it disappears! Eh, 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 ehem. I mean, oh boys! Oh boys! Dinner is served. Do you think Larry has the camera hidden anywhere? Oh, I don't know. We better be on our best behavior just in case. You look dashing. Loretta, you look so weird, it's not even funny. Hey! <laughs> Everyone will be happy to know that my conflict is resolved with Nicole and Samantha, and each have received a proper apology. Carlos? 
Are you okay? Mom, what happened to my brother? Very good, Carlitos. I'm very proud of you for doing that. George, where's the camera headed? I don't know, but I think it's in the flowers. Am I to understand that dinner is being served in the main dining facility? Dad? 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 When I saw that the three of you had dressed for dinner, I figured, when in Rome, do as the Garcias. Isn't it funny how we never used to worry about what people thought of us? And now, because of Larry's project, we're... all acting ridiculous. It's your fault for buying that stupid camera! But you're the one who encouraged me to... to uh, never mind. Good of you to join us, young master. May we show you to your seat, sir? Whoa, what happened here? Nothing, just another normal dinner at the Garcia house. If you say so. So, Larry, where's the camera? Oh, I'm done with my project. Boy, does this food look awesome, Mom. You're done? What do you mean you're done? I'm wearing this monkey suit for nothing? Excuse me, but I even brushed my teeth before dinner. Larry, you have to go upstairs and get your camera right now. I was supposed to save this dress for Cousin Kathy's quinceañera, and now I'm wasting it on you. But I just put the finishing touches on the video. Okay, okay, stop ganging up on Larry. If he's finished his assignment, he's finished. It's our own fault for pretending to be someone we're not. Your father's right. Everybody settle down. Let's eat our dinner. So, Carlos, did you decide who you like more? Samantha or Nicole? Hey, George, did you download any new music from the net? Lorena? Did Raul el Campesino tell Rosa Maria de los Ojos Azules y Grandes to take a uh, hike? Oh, what's the matter? I finally figured out what it's like to be an only child. Come in, Mom and Dad. Larry, do you understand why everyone's so upset? Yeah. But I already took care of it. What do you mean you took care of it? Nobody has to worry about the video anymore. I threw it away. Why? Because I love my family. And I wasn't trying to make fun of everybody. I just wanted my class to enjoy my family the way I do. Oh, <laughs> lindo caballero. I figured it's worth getting an F, so I don't have to feel like I'm living in an orphanage. Larry, all of us, myself included... And me. ...have overreacted to this video thing. Yes, yeah, sometimes, honey, it's a little scary to see yourself as you really are. I understand. Maybe we could all watch it together? Larry, before we start, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, all I wanted to say is that I'm sorry if it hurt anybody. And after you watch it, if you don't want me to show it to my class, I won't. Although you guys did sign a release form. Oh, yeah. One last thing. 
This afternoon, I added my own narration to the tape. I couldn't have done it if George hadn't shown me how to work in the first place. Hey, I can't help it that I'm a computer wizard. In every family, there's someone all his kids can look up to. In my family, that person is Carlos. Carlos has a complicated life. School, girlfriends, music. But he always gets through it with a smile. My dad. What can I say about him? He's 20 feet tall. His heart is so big you can't even measure it with the strongest telescope. And he's funny. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let people speak for themselves. Motherhood is about love, and there's no greater love than love of family. For my family, I would walk across hot, cold, barefoot, with R2-D2 strapped to my back and Sandy still sitting in it. That's George. Anytime something breaks, George knows how to fix it. And he's happy to do it. I think one day science is going to want to examine his brain because he's so smart. Last but not least, there's Lorena. Most guys I know won't admit this, but it's good having a sister. While us guys are playing soldier games, making wars, Lorena's doing the opposite. She's playing games where people love each other. Don't tell her that I said this, but I think it's pretty cool. The end. Loved it. it was pretty cool. You're Harry. the best. <laughs> Mom, Dad. Very well done, son. Thank you, Mijo. Larry Garcia Spielberg. Oh, I like the sound of that. Especially now that I was accepted back into La Familia Garcia. I'd like to thank the Academy for this award. Payback. <laughs> and especially, I'd like to thank. Daisy for my inspiration. Daisy? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, we're just working on a class project. Who's Daisy? Well, you couldn't stop saying her name. I'd like to thank Daisy for my inspiration. I don't even like girls yet. Oh, maybe not consciously. It's gotta be Daisy Fuentes. Or, Miss Azteca's first name is Daisy. Oh. <laughs> this isn't funny, guys. Give me the camera. Give me the camera. Oh, go kiss Daisy. Maybe she'll make you feel all better. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Call Miss Azteca on us?